Hi guys, <laughs> no, I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm just really super busy now in this uh, last uh, two, three, four uh, months. For example, as you can see here, this is uh, the place of my old uh, second uh, studio. And uh, we demolished completely uh, because we have some really crazy plan about this place. And for that, of course, I have to move uh, my studio to somewhere else. Bye-bye, second studio. And oh, here is a mirror. So here I am, I'm not dead. <laughs> uh, this is the problem when you are dealing with uh, construction and with real estate and all kind of these house businesses. Time to time you have to modify your plan, time to time you have to demolish, and uh, time to time you have to rebuild everything from the beginning. Before we arrive to the new place of my new studio, let me explain to you this uh, really crazy plan what we have here. As you can see here, on the back side of this really huge and beautiful building, we have many, many, many rooms, let's call them rooms, in different sizes. So, for example, this one is a really big one, this one is these two connected together, the next one is standalone, and the next one is bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, whatever. The crazy idea is to bring here Money, 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 creative young people. For example, this room will be rented out by some kind of painter guy and uh, who is dealing with the sculptures, whatever. But almost all the rest of the room will be some kind of audio engineering and other home recording studios. So I'm really, really, really lucky <laughs> with this movement and with this really crazy plan. Because what I told you guys a few months ago, the BMR, it's growing. And now on this scale, I, I even cannot imagine what will happen here. Because, for example, in this room, uh, some Australian guy will be sit here with his very expensive and very high-end gears. Actually, he want to do here some kind of uh, pro mastering kind of uh, small studio. The next one, he, he just want to do uh, a live records. So he will do one room for, uh, for, for the bands and in another room, he will sit on his uh, analog uh, mixing console. And if I remember good, the third one, it's also will rented out by some kind of music and guy. Ah, by the way, the, the first one, this will be my. And if you think this is small, uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> there is a big, big, big surprise behind this door. I'm kind of lucky guy you now with this, because what I will get here, a lot of interesting people, a lot of young artists with, with fresh ideas, with fresh brain, other kind of gears, analog, digital, whatever, mastering room, and uh, <laughs> other kind of uh, music studio. So this will be a really, really, really amazing place here in Berlin to create or record or finish your songs. Here we are in my new studio. Oh, yeah, yesterday we had some kind of a birthday party and I find four <laughs> pieces of Red Bull <laughs> there outside in a, in a garden. His hand, oh, maybe they, that's why they drop it. <laughs> Let's check other one. He must be, oh, guys. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Back to the topic. Three years ago when we purchased this uh, building and all this complex, um, I saw this place with some kind of really weird and really old uh, wood uh, stairs here. And uh, I just walked here and I looked up what is there and I even cannot see nothing on the top because some kind of homelesses are living here so they collected here a lot of shit and dirt and the demolished car parts and whatever I even not interested on the top because I thought uh, it's maybe just the roof section whatever and the homelesses just really just uh, went up uh, from the cold winter here in Berlin but later on of course we start to clean everything here and then after I just amazed what we find over there. Red bull, red bull, red bull, red bull, red bull, red bull, red bull.
Yeah, it's not easy to walk on a ladder without hand. Yeah. Here we are in my new studio. What we find here, it's really, really, really interesting. I think somebody built here some kind of crazy house party club place because we find a lot of uh, speaker cable, lighting cable, DMX cable. We even find here uh, two speakers in these corners. There is some kind of bar. It's already in a past, some kind of music place. And when I came up here and we cleaned everything, I just shocked by this place. And guess for what? Because of the acoustic. Guys, the acoustic here is something unbelievable, perfect and beautiful. One reason is this slanted ceiling. It's, it's have a, almost the perfect angle for me to build here my uh, uh, studio and my listening position. Top of it, the length of the space, the width of the space, the height of the space here and the height here. It's almost perfect for the best acoustic. So the length is uh, about uh, 17 meter. The width is about four meter 80, if I remember good. This one here, it's three meter 30. And this section here is two meter 10. So you cannot find one combination, which is <laughs> multiplication factor of the other. So I'm really, really lucky. Even if I wanna do like this, I cannot do like this. Maybe you can hear already, but this uh, area here, without any kind of uh, soundproofing and isolation and uh, treatment, whatever, it already sounds fantastic. The third reason is this crazy floor. The floor have kind of 60 or even 70 centimeter gap to, to the next ceiling. And between this, uh, between the ceiling and between uh, my floor, uh, it's filled up with uh, wood parts and beams are running and some kind of uh, really good isolation in, in money layers. And also there is some kind of uh, steel parts is running from this wall to the next wall. Of course, to hold all this uh, heavy wood construction. And as you can see, the, each of the wood it's have a gap. It's working like the one of the most expensive uh, soundproofing in your studio. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just really lucky with this because if I want to do a same like this with the same results, it's a hell of a lot of money. And other plus things here on this floor, uh, as you can see, each of the wood, if this these different size, so there is no one frequency which, which can resonate in any part of the floor. No, no, YouTube, I hope you can hear it. Uh, what's the difference between this place and what's the difference between the normal, let's call it normal room. His hand, oh, it's huge. So now we started with uh, the isolation on the ceiling to fix it back and uh, we fix uh, the wall a bit. I really like this uh, construction. This is some kind of really old uh, German industrial uh, building. And I'm really like uh, this design. I even I will paint uh, the, these parts to some kind of uh, gold even or white or yellow, whatever. Here I will have one window and over there I will have other window and maybe I will install here on, um, on the top of the roof section the third one which is uh, smaller and uh, a bit uh, cheaper. Here will be my listening uh, position, here will be my uh, mixing desk. The synthesis will goes uh, to the side of the wall and here uh, other section of the synthesis and finally I will build up here my DJ gears. The next section will be some kind of uh, chill out zone. Let's call it like this. So here we will have some kind of uh, really big uh, screen with really nice uh, home cinema speakers. 
project or coach will become here uh, some small uh, table. But I will do the plan like uh, this area of the studio will also function like a recording place for uh, electric guitars and uh, maybe other kind of uh, instruments. So here again I have other uh, 25 square meter, something like this. And here on the third section, this is the place where I will build up my electronic lab. I think we will build back the, this bar section, what we find here, with some kind of uh, dishwasher solution on a corner. I can show you the, the final plan on my computer because I, of course I already did some kind of uh, 3D plan. I can do for you guys like a series of video how we build up uh, this new studio and maybe about uh, these uh, young uh, creative people who are coming here, how they build up their studio, what kind of gears they have. So as I told you guys, BMR is growing at the moment, 90 square meter. See you next time.